Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here, hi, my name is Melissa, or Missa. Welcome! Today I wanted to play with blue, because I have not done a blue eye in such a long time. I also want to do a wing, because I never do wings, because they scare me. And I want to do a halo eye, because I did one recently, and I quite liked it, and it's a style that I used to do a lot, and I feel like I've kind of lost the skills on how to do it. But anyway, we're going to be playing with my Beauty Bay uh, Mitchell palette, also the pastels to do this, a couple of like different glitters and things. And yeah, this is the eye look we're doing. The face I'm doing in a full face first impression, which will be my next video out, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. I mean, look at the ingenuity on this face, how could you miss it? And also, if you want to see how I got these scratches, just keep on watching, because this literally just happened. I just feel like this is a really kind of old school Melissa look, like the style and everything. So if you want to just fanny about with me, put makeup on and just have a great time, see lots of sausage, then uh, keep on watching. Okay, let's uh, prime, which I should have done prior to pressing record, but whatever. A little bit stained from yesterday's live. I've done a like real big fat brows today. It's been a while since I've used like la um dude eyebrow soap and just like brushed them up so I just thought I would try it for fun. Then I used my NYX like eyebrow pen which is so good. Why are you being so needy right now? I'm taking Moody Mitch. Oh <sighs> I love when you can hear people's like weird conversations outside. Pop this all the way around. I mean, can be messy, doesn't have to be great. My only concern when I'm putting eyeshadow on is, is it above my crease? So I'll just completely relax my eyebrows, just like this. And I'll just pick up a tiny bit more of it, but just on a fluffier brush. Just blend it out a wee pinch. Oh, sausage. I'm gonna have to shut you out of here. Really? Oh, then I'm gonna grab Mist, which is one of my favorite shades. It's like an utter circus here, I'm trying to film with the cats. I'm gonna go all the way around with Mist, keeping it nice and rounded. What is it? I actually had a really long lie this morning. I'm always up at like, seven even earlier because the cats wake me up but today I woke up at 11 a.m. I don't know how that happened so they were acting like they were little skeletons that hadn't been fed anyway there we go nice and big and rounded and then I'm actually going to take my Beauty Bay Pastels palette just because this is a great additional palette for any like blending outness that you need to do and I'm going to take Cloud Free and this is super bright, lovely pastel. Honestly, I would recommend this palette for everyone that does like bright looks because it's got so many different shades in it that you can just blend out perfection with. I just adore it so much. I mean, I've hit pan on it even. Anyway, I'll go all the way around with this and it's totally covering up my blending, but it doesn't really matter. In case I'm doing a wing, I really want it built all the way around. Okay, now that's on. I'm going to take Mafia, which is the black. Very noisy outside, I do apologise. And just go back through my crease. I'll tuck it all the way in first. And put it down below. And then I'll drop my eyelid. You can see it's not so super rounded anymore. So with my eyelid... Completely relaxed. I'll use the brush just to make a nice round shape. See how that's like round? I mean, it's as round as I'm making it. I'm just going to go back through all of those shades again like the dark blue, the lighter blue, the pastel blue, and just blend this out. And then we can put the cut crease on and then the glitter, which is what we're here for, let's be honest.
Okay, that's fine for now. I picked up a set of like eye bases on Amazon. They're like P. Louise dupes. I'll link them down below. So I'm going to use the white one just to cut my cre well, it's not cut creases, it's a halo eye. Spotlight eye? What else? And then this tiny little brush. This is from Sheen. It is the 00, zero and it is very small and therefore good for cutting creases. I actually can't believe how noisy it is outside. Um, I'll start by putting a wee line here and then just opening my eye fully. That transferred well, didn't it? Uh, yeah, for me, because I have hooded eyes, I like to make it quite pronounced, quite high up. This is a style I used to do a lot, I don't really do it so much now. Um, but I'm just going to try and match the other side, basically. really sure what I think of these bases yet. I've only played with them a couple of times. They seem okay. Um, I mean these don't match do they? I actually cannot fathom how noisy it is outside and I won't know until I edit this video how bad it is. But anyway there, that'll do for now. I'm going to take Marine and I'm just using this as a base so it doesn't need to go on particularly well although this is a really beautiful shimmer. It's just more of a, a wee base for the glitter so I'm not trying to make this look very special. I know it looks like garbage right now, don't worry. And then I'm going to take Sarazar Cosmetics I guess. This is a, a glitter from them. I think it's just like their holographic glitter. My friend Danielle sent this to me and I knew I had to use it with my Barry M glitter that we're also going to use. So it's, I mean it's absolutely stunning proper like holographic all the different colours in there. Uh, I'll take my barium glitter glue and I'm more just going to use this to like get the edges. Just gives the other glitter that I'm using is a little bit harder to be precise with. I'm just going to take a pinch and put it up around the top. This is probably the prettiest silvery holographic glitter I have. Cheers Pac-Man. I'm actually going to be live with Daniela when this video goes up tomorrow on her channel so I'll leave the link in the description box if you want to watch. And the other glitter I'm using is the one I picked up in my haul recently which is Barry M Pick and Glitz. This one is in the shade Extra. So I'm just going to keep using that brush that doesn't have a name, pop a bit more glitter glue on top and then I'll just dip into the glitter. These are just like big chunky flakes of holographic glitter. It just has to be a bit more texture, a bit more interest. Okay and then I'm just going to grab like a little pointy brush and a bit of like mist and moody mitch and just blend the edges just by patting if you try and swipe you're just gonna make a mess or I will anyway so I'm just patting this on but I might take a little bit of this light blue as well okay that's looking all right. As all right as Melissa here can make it, let's be honest. Then I put a wing on, which is not something I do very often, but that's why I thought I would do it. And I'm using my ABH liquid liner, because it is very good. What's your major malfunction? Okay, I'll tidy that up because it does look quite messy and then the wing, oh lord, give me strength. Please don't let sausage knock my hand.
<laughs> no, don't play with an open pot of glitter. It's so hard to film with cats. <laughs> I feel like I tidied up that wing a little bit uh, off camera. I'm just going to use my Huda black eyeliner. Look how that's it. Like that's it rolled all the way to the top. Look how much I've used of that. Right. I'm going to clean up my under eye, go do my base. I'm actually doing it in another video because I've got a few new bits that I really want to try. And then we'll come back, we'll put lashes on together and stuff. Um, I'm really struggling to blend this corner and I can't work out. <laughs> Why? It's really stressing me out though. So yeah, we'll be back, we'll put lashes on and stuff and finish off this together, but I mean that's it pretty much done. Oh, the inner corner. <laughs> I can do that while we're here. I'm going to take marine, which is what we used a little bit on the lid. We didn't try and make it special, I am wetting it. Because these shimmers in here, they are gorgeous. They're just way better if you use them wet. Okay, I mean that one got a bit out of control, didn't it? It's fine. Right, I'll be back with all my base on, we'll put lashes on together and then I'm just gonna finish off this look. It's not, oh, it's, fine. it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Sometimes I know I am too harsh on myself and I need to just take a little bit of a chill pill. If you're looking at me and going, well listen, that base is quite intense. Then yeah, I agree. Um, I'm trying out a bunch of new products and this is sometimes what happens. Sometimes it goes really well and sometimes your foundation looks a little bit crazy, which is what it is. So we're just going to finish off the eyes and it's going to be very simple. I'm just going to put a bit more blue underneath them and then put a lash on. Some of the shade Mist. I'm going to literally just pop a bit down here. And then I'll just grab my pastels and that blue. Pop a bit of this down here to match the top. I can't believe I've done winged liner. When do I ever do winged liner? Literally never. Like, never. Um, I'm just going to extend it a wee pinch. Like, winged liner is always such a risk. <laughs> See, just messed that one up. I'm gonna put on my Pretty Little Thing Tatty Lash. These are in the style Double Tap. I just quite like them. And they're foam ink as well, which is importante. Use my velour lash glue. the eyes done to be honest um, I quite like those lashes they're just nice and curled up which is what I like in a lash if lashes are too straight I tend to curl them with my like eyelash curlers because I prefer when they poke up you know rather than straight I'm pretty happy with that I mean it's not life-changing is it but it's fine I've not done a wing in so long I've not played a blue in so long um, yeah I'm quite happy I'm just gonna go finish off my lip and stuff and then Oh yeah, I still don't feel like I blended the edges perfectly, but I mean, who who's perfect? Certainly not me. <laughs> I finish off with just a nude lip because I thought it would be the best. Dose of color sand. If you are wondering, and big silver hoops. Can't remember where I got these. Uh, probably like Pretty Little Thing or something because I thought they matched the halo. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this look overall. I mean, I definitely messed up this wing. Like, I made it weird at the end. But I can probably fix that with a little bit of concealer and a steady hand. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm very pleased with this. I think, I don't know, um, I think maybe I need to make my halos, like, wider. I'm not sure if that's the issue that I'm finding. But uh, it's still, like, something that I'm practicing again. Like, I've really not done this kind of style in ages, I feel. So, like, 
I find it quite hard to be honest but yeah that is going to be all for me today I really hope you enjoyed this video remember to subscribe if you want to see the full face first impressions that is coming we've got things like Fenty new concealer ABH face palette it's a good time make sure to subscribe leave me a comment down below tell me what you want to see on my channel in my next few videos um subscribe if you haven't already I put out three videos a week and Remember that tomorrow at 6pm I'll be live on Daniela's channel if you want to see me fanny around with makeup live. So yeah, I hope you have a lovely day whatever it is you're doing and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye! Oh yes. Yes. Oh, lovely rubbings. Yes. Oh. I'm so honoured. I really do have the most affectionate cats. It's unbelievable. They're just obsessed with me. <laughs> I did a good boy. You got glitter on your nose. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. <laughs> yes, yes, I see you, I feel you. That was big scratches all down my arm. Okay, I'm gonna have to come back. I mean, I'm gonna edit all of this out, but. <laughs> we'll put it in the outro, will we? We'll put it in the outro. Oh, yes. Oh, fuck! That hurt. Look at these scratches. All the way down my arm. <laughs> oh.